Okay, so this is our intelligent practice, your independent work for Friday's math lesson. Now, I've just been out for my uh, daily walk, and it is absolutely freezing out there. The forecast is that it's going to snow tomorrow, that is Friday. Now, if it does, I'm pretty sure you could work out a way that a snowball fight would fit into maths somehow. See what you can do with that. Okay, so, right, we're moving on. Uh, so, your uh, intelligent practice task uh, starts with times and by 10, times and by 10, times and by 10, times and by 100. Now, please, year six, don't get confused with this one. There is nothing complicated here. It's just that the answer box is at the beginning instead of at the end. Don't make your minds explode. Reasoning question then, I would like a little uh, explanation. Why is the zero in 1.02 important? You're going to need to use some words there. Same thing in this middle column, people. Do not get confused by the box being at the beginning. They do that on your SATs test every time to trick you. Don't let them trick you. Uh, now, what you also need to uh, be aware of here is there is an awful lot of nines going on. Please, please, please use the line method. When I was working out the answers on the next slide, I used the line method myself. I filled up two post-it notes, okay? Do use the line method to make sure you've got the right answer. And then your reasoning question, explain what happens to each digit when you multiply by a thousand. So we'll have some words there again, please. Okay, this one's quite a nice one. Uh, a challenge, but not impossible. So 2.5 times 10, and then whatever your answer is to this, you're going to use some connective thinking to link your answer here to here. I want you to think about what you have to do to this 10 here to get to 20. So connective thinking facts. When you've got your answer to this one, use it to answer this one. So this was times by 20. This was times by 200. So what is connecting these two numbers? Do something to your answer. Finally, same with this one. Whatever your answer was to here, you need to think about what connects these two things. What connects 200 and 2000? Look back at your objective for a little hint there. All right, finally into this one. Now this is a little bit trickier. So you've got to work out what 32.4 has been multiplied by. Again, think about your objective. This one, think carefully. I'm going to say the word inverse and leave it there. That one, straightforward, use your line method. This one, have a think about doing this in two stages. Think about doing 4.3 times by either 10, 100 or 1,000 first and go from there. Have a little consideration about that one. So the next slide on your PowerPoint is going to be the answers. On mine, it's the dive deeper. Now, I've just done these as well. I think you'll all be able to tackle number one and number two. So I'd expect you all to be having a go at that. Number three and number four are pretty difficult, OK? Have a go at them if you can. If you're completely not sure, we are absolutely fine with you leaving those. If we were doing these in class, we'd probably have children with us in a group to do those two questions. So do have a go if you feel like you can, um, but I don't want you to worry too much about those last two. But trying one and two would be fab. Right, year six, I'm going to leave you there for the day. If it is snowing, get out there and enjoy it. See you tomorrow.